1,000 one, move your feet forward, put them on the ground, step your hands forward, press up again. Good, legs should stay kind of narrow, toes pointed, knees straight, back round like a mad cat. Okay, try one by yourself. Do a couple moving forward, I'll count, 1,001, you got to stay there for 1,001, 1,002, 1,001, 1,002, it's called an inchworm, 1,001, 1,002, and we're making sure that this part of the back doesn't, we don't get that pipe arch looking thing. Now go backwards, press up, and back, good, yeah, point yeah. those toes once you leave the floor, yeah, point them, point them, point them, and cover your ears. While you press, cover your ears a little bit. Put your head down between okay. your hands a little so, bit. So, another entry level movement. Um, it's a couple different ways we can do it over here. Sorry. Hands on the panel mat, feet on the floor, and press up to a stand. So, press up. Um, that was a jump up. And we're going to press to a stand. Good. Right up on the mat. We're going to stand, straddle on the mat. Good. And back down. And back up. Elbows locked. And back down. And back up. Another little progression. Come on over, straddle stand on the mat, hands down on the floor, and press handstand. So we give her a booster chair. You don't have to come down to a straddle well, that's hard. So just press up. Now you see how she started the, the arch in here? We want to we want to get rid of that as quick as possible. All right. We want her to feel like her spine rolls up. She's doing a better job, and a good way for them to feel that um, is just to do a, a little roll-up drill against the wall, or a skin the cat the right way. All right. So let me move this so you can see. Any one of you guys to come over? And this isn't. This is for what the torso and the so upper body. So you just want that as a wall. Um, hands down. By the way, now just put your back against the wall. Now I want you to bring your spine up the wall like one vertebra at a time. Press up, and you do that, and then come back down. So I, w I want it to go here, 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 so you get all the way up. See what she's doing with her belly and her, and her, her torso? And we're going to get rid of that high arched looking thing. Good. And the hands can be far away. We're not worried about that part of the press. So can I mention something yes. at this point? This, there's a point <coughs> of which... Scoot your hands back just a little bit. Now lean into the wall a little bit. Keep trying to get press, press up. There's a, there's a little point in which most of these move where they're in a pike or they're in a compression. They're trying to unfold essentially to a handstand where they're transferring from using the shoulder girdle, all the muscles in the shoulder, to their oblique muscles in the sides. And that's very awkward. That's where we have, you know, improper shapes. You can stop. I need one of you guys over it's, here. It's that it's the oblique muscle part that 